first came to Haynes, I wasn't sure what I was looking for. I remember first flying into these mountains and feeling so humbled. Over time, my relationship with this place evolved in ways I never imagined. This small town, full of characters, at the end of the road in southeast Alaska, grabbed me. After a decade of skiing in Alaska, I can't help but to look back and reflect on the people and the experiences that have made my time in Haines so special. In many ways, it feels like I've been working my entire life to get here, to be able to ski in these mountains. First time I put on skis was at the age of two at Dollar Mountain in Sun Valley, Idaho. My mom, dad, my older sister, all of us would go out together. Going fast. Watch out, everybody. Lexi was a wild little thing. I remember her running around the house with underwear on her head and really strange outfits. She had a pacifier for a really long time. Growing up with Lexi was so much fun. She was always pushing the limits, and we were always challenging each other. More skiing? Lexi as a child was so easy because she just wanted to do everything you could give her. My mom was actually a professional freestyle skier. She was one of the first ladies to do a backflip on skis. So I just grew up in my house. There's just all these pictures of my mom hucking huge backflips. So I knew that that could be a career path and a choice for me. Hey, where are you? We chose to raise our children in the mountains yeah. because it was familiar to us. It was what we loved. It was like, this is it. This is where we want them to have the same experiences and love for the mountains. But it's raising the bar when you go to Alaska. I was so naive to this place. First time I flew out, I was just like gaped, you know, like sparkle pony in the back. I didn't really know what it meant. I was just like, wow, this is Never Never Land. I came up here with my parents, actually. It was my dad's 50th birthday. And he's like, we're going to heinous Alaska and then was skiing with Reggie Christ. It was my first time skiing with him, and he saw me rip in my first line, and they convinced my parents to let me stay for an extra two weeks up here. We got Lexi Dupont up here, and it's been great having her up here in Alaska. She has been charging hard. Reggie's such a good guide because he has such a deep background in skiing. He's skied almost all of the lines that we're skiing, and so he has a really deep intimacy with the terrain. I've been skiing in Haines for over two decades now. It's been my home away from home. My job as the guide is obviously to set safety, but even more so, it's like coaching these girls. For me, it's the team effort and like, what can I do to help progress that? Will Wisman is one of my oldest friends in my ski career. He was up here that first year I came up here, and he's been a really pivotal player in my success in this place. My first real memory of Lexi when we were skiing, you could tell right away she could ski. Lexi's like a sponge, you know, she's just soaking up all that information, and uh, she's on a roll. I was super impressed with Lexi on light meter. We got to the top of our lines. I, she said, wait, hold on a moment. My legs are shaking. <laughs> Definitely had the nerves going, and it was great to see her just kind of calm it down and rip it. Lexi's first year in Alaska was, uh, that was school of hard knocks, you know? She got thrown straight into the frying pan. Not only with the skiing, but just hanging out with a bunch of dudes. <laughs> walking down the hallway in the fort after taking a shower and this old man was in there. He's like, since when do girls hang out in here? Like he had never seen a female in the entire lodge before. Nice, Lex. Lexi's first year, she slept under my dirty clothes. She was just ready to do anything. She was going to sleep under the rotten, dirty tube socks if that meant she could go out the next day. I sold my soul that first year, and I've made a dedication that no matter what it takes, I'd come back up to Haynes every spring.
You know, at first when I would leave home and come up here, my parents were super encouraging because they were the ones that introduced me to this place. But later on, once they started to get a taste of what we were doing out there, it was really challenging to battle their fears. Well, at one point when Lexi was going up to Alaska, we thought we needed an intervention because we've seen with the big mountain skiing, people killed at a young age. So it was terrifying and we just trusted Reggie. Yeah, like I've known Lexi since she was 10 years old. My brother married her sister and suddenly we're family, but we were family before our siblings got married. There's just no room for error up there. And so I need to trust her and she needs to trust me. And that's really what this whole thing's based on. Safety is number one here and you gotta make sure your sister comes home. Reggie, not only is he my mentor in the mountains, but we're family. After our siblings were married, Reggie took me aside and looked me in the eyes. He was like, I really can't mess this up, Lexi. I had that moment when you got out of the helicopter and you were on that peak, and it was just like this drop in my belly of there's so much more on the line than just the two of us. I dropped Lexi off up there, and it's like I'm the drug dealer handing out the dose, going, here you go, take a hit. I can't even imagine coming home if something were to happen to Lexi. That thought process and that care that goes into the decision making just has to be that much stronger because the consequences are huge. What scares me is that one thing that makes the skier community so close is that so many people have died. I hope that expressing my fear affects her because it's fucking scary. I don't really find much guilt in my life except for when it comes to skiing big lines. And I think that that's because there is so much inherent risk with what we do and it can be viewed as being quite selfish to be coming out here, putting ourselves in these situations for our own personal glory. When my parents and my family were putting that on me, I had to really separate and realize that I made a decision that I'm not going to die in the mountains and that I'm going to come up here and be calculated and do exactly what I set out to do. Fuck yeah, dude. Murdering it. A lot of people get so much anxiety and fear when they watch what we do, but they don't know what we've gone through to get to that point. Sick. Befriending fear is one of the most beautiful skills I think we can have as humans. Being a female in freestyle skiing was trying to make your mark. You did not get equal prize money. You did not get equal time. When you found your tribe, which was a small group of women, you were ecstatic to be able to train with them and to compete with them. They would up your game, they would challenge, they would invent, all along being competitors, but still supporters for whatever you were doing. When I first came up here, I was the only female skier up here. It's kind of isolating, for sure. That happened for like four or five years. Testimony to all of the men that have taught me so much up here as well. It toughened me up and it was really empowering to be the only female, but now having other females with me, I think my skiing has progressed even more so. They hype you up and when you watch them shred, you really have no excuse but to try and go just as fast as they did. Lexi is amazing to be in the mountains with. The first time I got to ski with her was actually one of the first times I ever got to film with other females. And that was in 2015 here in Haines. And I linked up with Tatum and Lexi and we had an absolutely amazing time in the mountains. That trip marked the first time that I really stepped into this feeling of being fully confident of my abilities in the mountains. And I think a lot of that has to do with being surrounded by female energy. And I like felt it so deeply. That was a pivotal moment in my personal big mountain career. It was so obvious during that session how capable they were. They always belonged. They've always been that good. And now they finally got their chance.
that session with Michelle and Tatum reminded me of my early days in Sun Valley skiing with my mom and sisters. It felt like the accumulation of years of hard work finally paying off. It's moments like those that keep me coming back to this unique place year after year. You kind of feel like you go back in time a little bit when you come up here. There are some real characters up here. You've got everything from like fishermen that have been living here for 30, 40 years, or maybe they're kind of expat type of person that's run away from home and is escaping to a very serene, still life of quietness. For those that have moved up here full time, I'm like, are you running from something? <laughs> and after coming up here every spring, I feel like I'm coming home and I know these people and I walk into town and they recognize me and they say hello. And I'm almost fearful to go somewhere else because I might not have the same relationships that I have with this place. I think Lexi's teacher really became the mountains and humbled her, and she learned a lot of lessons out there. It was no longer what she was doing in the mountains, but it was what the mountains were doing to her. I think about Lexi 10 years ago showing up in Haines and the evolution of not only her skiing career, but her person. She's just really matured into what I would consider to be one of the best female big mountain skiers on the planet. A woman like Lexi, I want my kids following her. I want my kids knowing who she is. She's what they can look up to. My skiing and my career wouldn't be what it is without the experience that I've gained up here over time. And now this season has been a full testament to the time and effort that I've put into this place because I've been able to ski some of my dream lines exactly how I wanted to. 10 years of Alaska teaches you a lot. She has a lot to be proud of and 
It's going to serve her for the rest of her life. I think so. There's no, I mean, from what yeah. I can see, I don't know if it knocks, but it looks kind of textured. know like anything yeah. that has rocks has just recently been covered up yeah. so I'll probably just the shot will be I mean it's the whole thing but up on top of that thing and then cut yeah. back into the shadow yeah. and then just rails yeah, I mean there's pictures. gonna be some rad moments on the top especially with the drone and I'll be able to see that that shadow line where the spine yeah, is come fun. onto it thanks baby I don't know if I'll ever be done with Alaska. I think there's a part of my soul that I sold to this place and I'll always keep coming back. But at this point, I just have immense gratitude for everything that I've learned and all of the people that have shown me the way. I wouldn't be able to do it without my team. So thank you, Haynes, and thank you, Reggie. Thank you, Will and Yancey and Michelle and Tatum. Every person I've shared an experience with in those mountains, I owe immense gratitude towards. Thank you.